almost there. Preparing to live stream. <sighs> the rain was pretty crazy today. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right. So we're going to YouTube. Sweet. And with that, and with said, that said, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, let me mute myself on YouTube. Because I didn't follow my own advice. Oh, cool. So the YouTube stream is live now, guys. Welcome to the Stay at Home Open Mic. This is our fourth volume that we've done so far, four weeks in a row. It's been really cool. It's been a change of pace, but I know people have sorely missed having a, an opportunity to share their work amongst peers, amongst strangers and crowds. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Stay at home, open mic. We have a pretty good list so far, and it's probably our, our most diverse at this point where we will see poetry, music, a little bit of comedy. Um, so what's up with this? This is the Barbed Wire Open Mic series. My name is Richie Marufo, and I am the host and project director of this whole thing. And uh, during this pandemic, you know, we've just tried to stay active, make sure people are, I know people are creating or having trouble creating. So maybe this helps people out in any of those paths. But um, if you guys are listening right now on the YouTube chat, if you guys are watching, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, first of all, because you're early, you're on time. That's a, that's a thing that people are not good at. Probably <laughs> even still in quarantine, you know, people are still going to find a way to be late in quarantine. It happens. <laughs> but, you know, uh, just like a live crowd, you know, being at a venue and, and, you know, people being able to like see a crowd or like if, if you people like something that you're doing, like a poem and they really like a line and they, they clap and they share, you know, you can give us live feedback, like let us know that you're watching, put your, you know, just say hi in the chat for us. You know, the chat I think is over here on this side. You can just type out your info. Let us know that you're watching. If you're watching from our, from anywhere interesting, let us know and just give props as, as we get along, as we get, as we uh, move along with the open mic. And of course, I'm going to encourage all the performers to share their information um, after they're done. You know, where can we find your stuff? If you have anything to promote, I know a lot of you guys uh, record and do your own projects and, uh, you know, that's kind of one of the other things. This is a community and we just want to be able to like support what everyone's doing. All right. I'm talking a lot now, so I'm not, I'm going to try and not to do that. I always do that. And uh, once again, YouTube chat, welcome. Welcome all the performers that are here so far. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Our, our first performer tonight was one of our last, last time. And uh, he got the jump to go first this time. He was actually, check this out fairy dreams do come true last time last monday he was listening on the youtube chat and i said there were some extra spots and guess what he made it in so he became a youtube watcher stream to the actual conversation to performance so that can actually be you guys today if you guys are, are watching on youtube and and maybe you, you realize hey you know what I, I got something i can share we do have some time we have some extra spots available. Uh, shoot me a message through any of the Barbed Wire Open Mic Series accounts, uh, and I'll try and get you a link so you can get in. Okay, regardless. Big intro. Guys, let's go ahead and welcome our first performer. Let's go ahead and hear it for Nico Silva. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can you all hear me? Okay. Yes. Loud and clear. Okay, so I just wanted to do two writings that I did. One is a minimal poem, and the other is a meditative participatory performance that I would like for the audience to do anytime they go outside and they feel the sun on their face. So my minimal poem doesn't have a title, untitled. Choking our land, water, and air to death. The participatory interactive performance I would like you all to perform when you go outside and feel the sun on your face. 
It's also untitled. Untitled. Isn't it beautiful for the sun to hit your face? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful for the sun to hit your face? Isn't it beautiful? Thank you, Richie. Thank you, everyone. Yo, cool, Nico. Do you, you said you got you had one more, right? Oh no, those were the two: the micro power and the. Oh, you said micro. That's right. I was like, damn, that was that was fast. Sorry, um, I'm I'm tripping out. So, if you guys are in in El Paso, uh, which most people are, we had like create. Well, in my part of town, we had a crazy thunderstorm right now. I mean, it was it was very El Paso thunderstorm where it just it swept through in like uh, a matter of minutes, but it was it was so intense. And uh, I feel like it messed and there was a lot of thunder, like it was scary close, but I feel like it messed a little bit with the Wi-Fi. I feel like it's a little slow. So I'm hoping that that uh, the stream on YouTube is looking all right and, and that, you know, it translate well enough. But thank you, Nico. Uh, right. Cool. So we're going to keep going. And again, don't be afraid to no, not don't be afraid, but I encourage you guys to share uh, any relevant social media or places where people can follow you up. Thanks, Nico, for starting that. I know he had to run for an event, but he'll be listening on the, the YouTube stream. All right. So with that said, I know uh, just a quick roll call is Darwood in the house. Darwood Grace. I don't see that name here. Let's see. I do not see. I do not see the name. Welcome, Thomas. Awesome musician. Glad to have you here. Uh, yeah, Darwood signed up, but... It's it's in another part of the of the world actually, so he might be asleep or not here. Uh, so unfortunately, we'll we'll go and skip him. Maybe he'll join in later. Let's go ahead and move on uh, to some music. We have Isaac in the house from from Sleeper Car. He's gonna play some play music. Some music and and uh, uh, you're planning a live stream show, huh? Uh, go ahead and tell us about that after performance. But right now, let's go ahead and welcome Isaac from Shifted Car. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so thanks. Uh, I have an announcement to make after this. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys like the song. It's brand new, like like an hour old. So uh, yeah. <laughs>
Do your thing, man. Uh, were you gonna make make your announcement, dude? Yeah. So uh, June 9th, uh, Shifter Car is doing a hybrid show. So we're doing a live stream and a live show. Um. <laughs> yeah. So I got a couple of Canadians and a musician from uh, Pennsylvania. She's awesome um, to come and play this thing. So we will be broadcasting. Oh, hey. Brutus the 8th to give his okay for July 7th. Wait, can you rewind like the last 15, 20 seconds that we were saying you got muted by accident? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, so I, I got musicians from all across North America to play this thing. And uh, if it goes well, we'll be doing it every month. And I already got Brutus the 8th to give his okay to play on July 7th. So that's gonna be a really big deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really excited to, to do this. So that'll be fun. Right on, man, congrats. It's always cool really hearing your, your music. So I, I hope to, I'll probably be taking it easy still for a little while once things start opening up. I'm gonna take it slow, but uh, you know, do, do your thing. Let's go and give a, a round of applause for Isaac from shifter car and of course you can find uh their info on on shifter.car on social media check them out and um, have a great day night <laughs> cool. cool man all right enjoy your night um it's it's a little humid i mentioned the rain earlier and, and i have a uh, some some backup beers and they're sweating like crazy mad crazy so uh, thank you guys for joining us. I see uh, that there are more people on, on YouTube now. And uh, if you guys are on YouTube watching this on, on the live stream, um, thanks for joining us. Go ahead and uh, use the chat. Let us know that, that you're here with us. I'll give you shouts. I'll give you shout outs in between performers, um, especially if you guys are leaving comments. Shout out to Denise Signs. She, she seemed to really like Nico's piece. 
And um, yeah, if, if you guys want to share that link with people, that'd be really cool as well. Let's go ahead and keep it going, though. Uh, our next performer has been to every single one of these. And um, you'd, you'd catch him at most of the open mics around around town when we were still having them. Um, and he has his weekly video blog series called Dan the Man's Weekly. Guys. Okay, not welcome. yet. Not yet. Not yet. Why, no, why you're never ready, man? How can you never even even in virtual reality? I'm How sorry. Much, are, are you watching uh TV Criminal Minds again? No, I'm finishing up. Uh, I'm almost. Uh, I'm. I'm almost done with the. I'm almost done with the poetry, Sam. And by the way, I'm in my computer, and I, I'm. I'm live. I, I am live, and I'm just finishing up the. I'm just finishing up my poetry, and it's because. Uh, it's because uh, I got held up. You're in the computer. I was gonna say the same thing. I was gonna do. <laughs> you're in the computer. <laughs> some, wow. Some zo okay. Zoolander for you. Give me, okay. give me, give me, give me 10 to 15 minutes. I'm almost Okay, there. you're gonna be third now in Thank the order. You. Okay, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Dan. All right. With that said, let's go ahead and keep it rolling. We have two uh two awesome poets I'm really looking forward to. Um D has checked out the open mics before, but I'm really happy that you decided to share something today. Um, yeah, I always want more poets. Really, if you guys write poetry and, and you have something to share, sign up. We want to hear you. Um, so D Signs is in the house. Welcome. Let's go and hear Thank some you. of your cool stuff. Let's welcome you to the stage. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be doing is I can still taste it. It would have been less shameful to stand on the corner and sell myself instead of being a couch with a free sign tossed on someone's lawn, puking my guts out. It would have been more prudent to stay sober, at the very least a drink or two, instead of chugging the whole damn bottle, happy pills color-coded and stamped with smiley faces and designer labels. It would have been healthier to work out and clean instead of losing weight as I ran and chased the dragon. The pounds just melted away. It would have been less painful to ask for some sort of assistance instead of walking miles on end until the soles of my shoes became the pavement and the gravel. Duct tape fixes everything. It would have been more comfortable to sleep on my bed in my room instead of lying awake holding my knife next to a stranger who just wanted to help. It would have been less of an up uphill battle to live a good life make good decisions instead of a life dependent on the next escape, an Alcatraz of my own creation, the ball and chain still dragging behind me, though I've been out the pen for years. Okay, that was my first one. <laughs> and then the next one is called PIP. Pocha, India, puta. Three words used to define me. I'm a centerpiece. Pretty for a dark-skinned girl? Ooh, say that in Spanish, girl. I was too dark to enjoy the sun, not thin enough to be beautiful, too strong-willed to be loved by mother. I was spoon-fed misogynistic ideologies. God, the church, the men in my family all came first, in and outside of me. I'm a pocha, one European language replacing the other. I cut my mother tongue, lost my accent, and my patria. Soy India Sucia, because the brown won't scrub off when I wash. I cut off the bump on my nose just to spite them. It hurts, not because India is an insult, but because people think it is. I'm a puta. Mother has always said I was. Bless, um, I'm sorry, blamed for the advances of adult men in my youth. Promiscuity gave me control of what others took freely. Gastada, fruit to bruise to eat. I love myself. Three words I say proudly. Three words I wish I could have learned sooner. Three words I wear like armor against adversity. That was my second one. <laughs> okay, last one, I promise. <laughs> this one's called Tonal y Nagual. There is no angel or devil on my shoulder. The good, the bad, it's all necessary. There is no inner struggle to sin or not. Unbound from the holy word, God has no place in my home. His omnipotence stops at my door. 
protected from the angels and archons circling above like vultures praying for the ignorant. They feed on your sorrows, drink from your doubt, defecating fear on their followers, fear of life after death, fire and brimstone they claim is the devil's work. My spirituality came through the knowledge they refused to teach at church, muscle memory leading me to self-discovery. Spiraling continuously in and out through mistakes and epiphanies, each intertwined with the other. Each life I spiral out further away. From the matrix, the shrouds are planet. We are eternal. Energy condensed to a slow vibration, an attempt by the universe to self-identify, manifesting each one of us as an expression of itself, limitless and unbound by the rules of this plane. God is a blasphemous creature, limited to negative ideals, misogyny, control, homophobia, xenophobia, a reflection of the lower realms. It's history, a constant reminder of its true self. There you go. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Damn, D, <laughs> dropping it heavy. So great. Yeah, I, lo I loved it. And you Thank came you. <laughs> appro appropriately with the cosmic background right there. You know, holding it down for the ancestors and and definitely, uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, Thank you. Do you have anything that you'd like to uh, share or promote an Instagram or, or page that you you're involved with? Yeah, sorry, I'm a little shaky because I'm very nervous, but this is my Instagram. It's a deny science. Deny. It's 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 reversed. It's it's inverted. It? Oh, hold on, I have it on the other side. Like nice, this. nice. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> there we go <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was like that's on me for too long shift the camera i, I hate how zoom you can't really like change that but that was awesome poetry um thank you for sharing that is that published anywhere um no um I'm, i tried to send it to chrysalis which is the uh, poetry magazine yeah but i i'm barely getting enough confidence to share my work so <laughs> Well, awesome. I'm glad you had the confidence to jump in on this. What, what changed? Um, honestly, I, I, I think I love myself a lot more than I used to. It was, it was like a long world to self-actualization. And I finally came like, if, if I don't love me, then nobody else is. So I don't know. It's I'm doing it. <laughs> That's what's up. That's a journey. Thank you so much, D. Um, hopefully that, you know, you keep, keep, sharing keep coming out to these or, or you submit there's some really cool local publications you should submit and if you guys are watching you know i'm a big fan of chismosa press you know they're all about about publishing you know our people and, and what's going on you know like they're very community based so you should check them out if you didn't know them already um i also give a shout out to barrio panther uh I'm, i think i read from volume three last last week but that's also local but pretty pretty badass uh publishers and stuff going on there so thank you d awesome, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah we're gonna continue with some some really powerful poetry um he was on a couple weeks ago and so i'm really help, happy to invite him back and to share some stuff um in fact his name is not chelsea sanchez <laughs> <laughs> but uh we have robert tina Hedo in the house let's go and welcome him to the stage what's up y'all my name's Robert Pride El Pasoan. I live in Dallas right now. Um, so I think this event is awesome. Um, I was on, like you said, a couple of weeks ago. And so uh, I drank enough wine tonight to get the courage again to, uh, to read some poems. So I have about five poems. The first one's super short. Um, and then the other ones are a little longer. All right, so this poem uh, is very short. Um, this one is called Advice to My Firstborn. Um, so I have a son, he's, he's about to turn three. So this is for him. So advice to my firstborn, write shitty poetry, don't stop. Maybe one day it will be great or not. It doesn't really matter, but never ever stop. Um, next one. So this one I did read also a couple weeks ago, but this is, uh, I really like this poem. So this poem, um, is called soft poems and I wrote it, 
uh, when I was in a creative writing class and I felt like none of the poems were connecting with me, that they were kind of, uh, kind of soft. So this is called Soft Poems. I'm tired of soft poems today. I want my words to jump up and stab a racist cop, put on working gloves, sweat and bruise and bleed, help a migrant pick a thorny crop. I want my words to grab a brick and throw it strong, rearrange themselves into a protest song. I want my words to help the black graves of Mississippi hum, grab a stick and beat that drum. Grab that gun, load it, cock it, sit it in the hands of Che Guevara's sons. I want no less than stress than a mess of muddy poems feeding the minds of muddy homes. I want my words to be keys, to mines, to chests, to cells and jails. Wanted, want them printed on the rags and Molotov cocktails. I want my words to flow and be off rhyme. I'm tired of soft poems today. I want my words to change the time. Thank you all. All right, my next poem. Let me scroll through my phone here. So, sorry, give me one more second here. Okay, so um, I guess I'll let you all choose because um, I don't want to go over time. I have two kind of longer poems than the last poem. So uh, I don't know how we can vote on here, but do you all want a poem called Ramblings to America um, or a poem called Thank God? Is there a way for us to, I guess, put up a one in the air if you want ramblings to America or a two in the air if you want, thank God. A I, see a lot, I see a lot of ones. Okay, let's do one. You, you know what? <laughs> you might even have time to do both. We're not super full today, so. And you're, uh, you're dropping, you're dropping okay. some bangers, you know? So <laughs> do your thing, man. Okay, maybe I'll do both and then. All right, this is called Ramblings to America. This one has no rhyme, just kind of a free flow narrative poem. Ramblings to America. I know it can be really hard to love, but is it that difficult to like people or at least have sympathy and respect? Cause I've heard you all, I've heard you call that man the N word when he walked out of the room and refer to women as bitches on more than one occasion and call that brown teenager a fucking wetback because you heard he broke into someone's car and stole the radio. But what you didn't know was that he had been eating bologna sandwiches for five days straight and he wanted a cheeseburger and some fries. And he knew the pawn shop would give him at least $35 for that radio that was worth at least 120. And how about you? I saw you smile when you got $55 for that radio and spend 15 of it on cheap liquor and drive down the street listening to songs about getting money and fucking bitches and about how the system is holding you down, even though your mom worked two jobs just so you could have opportunity and wear the latest styles. But you decided not to go to college or get a job because that ain't for you. Because who wouldn't rather make a little easy money and smoke a little weed instead of studying algebra or learning American history from a, great, from a gay black woman who could teach you something or two about going through some shit if only you would listen. So let's realize that shit's complex because Abraham was a servant of God, but he committed adultery and Mary was a sinner, but she cleaned Jesus's feet. And Tupac said money over bitches, but he also sang dear mama and Brenda's got a baby. But he also got shot to death for a life he probably could and couldn't avoid by bullets that were fired in his youth that came back to him years later and took his life. Bullets have a way of returning to sender. So what kind of bullets are you putting in your gun, America? Damn. Thank you, thank you. So do I have time for one or two more? Yo, let's, let's go with one and see where we're at. Okay, yeah, let's do one. I don't want to take too much time here. So um, if you were here a couple of weeks ago and heard me, uh, I write kind of uh, regular poems and then 
sometimes I wish I was a rapper. <laughs> and so uh, I listen to lo-fi uh, hip hop sometimes. And so this is a little kind of quicker beat, um, kind of in between poetry and hip hop, I guess. So this one's called Pamplona Flow. Uh, if you don't know Pamplona, that's a city where they do the running of the bulls. So Pamplona Flow. I wanna be a wordsmith, buttery word synth, dripping powerful and delicate words with, thoughts dancing on paper and screens. You're the coach, letters your team. You're the fire, words are your steam. Deep poems like Cohen's sonnets about chronic or Texas blue bonnets. The world is a sheet and I'm always on it. The screen is so sweet and I type the hornets, couplets and quartets, lyrical vortex. But poetry is not the only component. I grab the language and I try to own it. Might type out a tweet that's sweeter than honey. Might write up a grant that brings in some money. Might write down a ballad softer than bunnies. Might text out a joke just for the funnies. Send out an email addressing an issue. Eulogy next, now needing some tissue. Created an ad, now you took up jujitsu. These words punch you, hold you, and kiss you. Format in language like I have a wand. Letter with header for the job that I want. Creating a resume, my skills I can flaunt. Write you a horror so dreams I can haunt. I'm spitting the butter, just bring the croissant. Bring me some canvas because I'm writing an art. Learning your letters, that's just the start. Rip the words open, tear them apart. Use them for cold or use them for heart. A poem, a contract, a visual art, a rapper, a lawyer, a lyrical dart, bending the discourse, making it dance, wreck that rhetoric, just give me a chance, pen to paper, a keyboard, my tool, words are a fish, I'm bringing that school, I got that Pamplona flow, I'm bringing the bulls. <laughs> yeah, man, that Pamplona flow, I love it, I love it. I, I was, uh, I was nodding my head to the beat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I good. appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Good rhythm. Um, uh, in fact, uh, we, we have another project and I encourage you to, to submit. In fact, especially if you record that stuff, do you, do you record your audio at all or poems? Uh, yeah, a little bit on SoundCloud. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, but yeah. Yeah. So, um, first of all, uh, I want to give a shout out. Uh, thank you, Robert, for, for sharing today. Thank and uh, give a shout out to your, your website and podcast, which you can find at blueletters.com. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that project? Uh, yeah, my podcast. So I teach um, English and rhetoric courses. So my podcast is just about communication and language issues. So I get into all sorts of stuff, super short episodes. So they're all like 10 minutes long. Um, yeah, you can find all my stuff at blueletters.com. So the color blue the word letters, blueletters.com. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. Right on, Robert. And uh, I, actually, I think I was in grad school just a little bit after you because oh, yeah. uh, I would write papers on hip hop as well. And uh, oh, they would like the professors would mention you. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Done, yeah. <laughs> yeah That's your awesome. Thesis. Yeah. So I, I'd heard your name before and I wanted to mention that previous times, but uh, it's really cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I do a little bit of writing about hip hop. That's that's really cool. I, I hope to maybe check that out pretty soon. But uh, if you guys are, are watching, check out check that out blueletters.com uh, to follow Robert's work. And uh, also, I'm gonna suggest um, not just Robert, but anyone who's listening or, or to people who have performed so far or will perform. Uh, we do have other projects, virtual projects, so you guys can can contribute to stuff online. There's this stay at home open mic, which you guys are listening to and watching right now. There's also uh, a project that I call Spacious Solidarity. Uh, we have one episode out and it's just, uh, it's kind of like a podcast. It's uh, it's like a performer showcase and it's just audio. Um, so I'm having people submit songs and poems, pretty much recordings of, of their stuff. And it's pretty cool. It's on Spotify and iTunes. I, uh, I've been working on, on volume two. It's taking me a couple of weeks just because uh, I've been working on a bunch of other projects, which I'll, I'll kind of drop along the way throughout the show. But um, Spacious Solidarity, you know, if you guys have any recordings, uh, I'll definitely, you know, volume two is already pretty packed in terms of 
content. But volume three, volume four, I hope to do more turnaround time. Kind of what takes me longer on those is I have to kind of curate an order and also edit the sound a little bit and also MC, which is a little bit harder these days because where I'm at in my apartment, it's kind of loud. So to find the right time of day, um, usually like three or four in the morning is the best time for me to, to record without that much noise. So I encourage you guys to check that out. Um, the other one is just the social media campaign. If you guys record uh, a poem around a theme or a song, maybe just inspired by a theme, you can just tag us and, and we'll share it. It's simple as that. And so you guys can find out more. Just follow us on social media, Barbed Wire Open Mic Series. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already do since you're here. Um, all right, cool. So I'm excited. We have uh, more performers, though, and I want to make sure they have their time to shine. Uh, I think, Dan the Man, are you finally ready? Is it time? Did he? He fell asleep. Dan, wake up. Dan, 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 if we all chant his name in unison. Sorry, I, I just, uh, sorry, I just unmuted. Wait, uh, say it again. Intro me again. Intro you. Okay. Rewind. Okay. That was embarrassing. I'll never do that again. All right, guys, let's go and give it up for our next performer. You know him from his weekly video blog series, Dan the Man's Weekly. That's right, the man with the master plan. Let's go and make some noise for Dan the Man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Richie. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, first off, uh, cool poetry performances by uh, uh, the who, who, who? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, was it, uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to find, uh, was it D signs and the other one, uh, the, the guy before me, what's his name again? Uh, something it's, Sanchez. It's um, Robert, 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 Robert Sanchez. Okay. Uh, again, did, cool performance. Uh, guys, cool performance. You guys, you guys did an amazing job. Appreciate it. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I think, as you all know, um, uh, that May is uh, Mental Health Awareness. And, you know, last April was uh, Autism Awareness Month and, yeah, po National Poetry Month since last April. But, um, yeah, this has a bit concerning me about mental health issues and, yeah, somebody dealing with these, it, a lot of problems and uh, something like that. But um, I think I, I did some poetry on this one. I just finished. I hope you'll like this one. Sorry. Sorry, my nose is beginning to whiff. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Okay. All right. And it is called Mental Health. <clears throat> okay. Mental health. Um, okay. <clears throat> mental health. Uh, I, I don't mean uh, mental wealth. I don't, this, I, I'm talking about mental health. It's something about a condition of a, of a person uh, regarding, it's kind of like regarding of their psychological well being as a result, also an emotional well being. And it's also in their, relating to a social well-being you guys know what i mean mental health it's not it is not stealth nor commonwealth <laughs> okay well as y'all know these are the important these are the signs of all the um all the these are the signs of the mental health that are that is effect that is a state of someone functioning the level and the levels like saying um Saying depression, bipolar, anxiety, stress, PTSD, ADHD, COPD, OCP, um, phobia, shame, uh, addiction, uh, mental disorder, and schizophrenia, globophobia, uh, claustrophobia, kleptophobia, addiction, bulimia, and yeah, and these are kind of yeah, uh, among others, these are kind of uh, mental health and could be substance or maybe abuse or something like that, or stigmata. But um, yeah, these are among others. Well, these are signs of mental health. Uh, we must be aware of this majority. We must share these awareness. These are rare that, that, that those cannot be in the chair forever they cannot 
be forever in a chair. Well, um, among other hundreds of signs of, of mental health, this is the majority that we can help that change that to help to deal with those signs, those issues, those problems, those things could be a bit hazard or those could be on life on the line. And I think you already know where that's going. Well, we gotta be aware, sorry. we gotta be aware um, of the mental health because we wanna help deal with it, uh, deal with those results and to bear with them Deal, deal with this outcome to live on and out of strife make and we could still make them a happy life. Uh, this is mental health. I do not mean wealth. I'm, this is mental health. I mean, this is not, this is not stealth nor commonwealth. It's uh, psychological well-being, emotional well-being and social well-being. And we still want to be aware of mental health and to bear with, to deal with somebody to bear, like bear with us. And this is mental health. All right. Thank you. How's that? How is it? Cool, man. Very important topic. Appreciate that. All right. Everybody, what do y'all think? Uh, everybody? Uh, <laughs> uh, do you want keep going? That was yeah, awesome. Do you want claps? Yeah, thank or, you. Keep yeah, it up, yeah, Dan. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Yeah, since um, I know May is uh, is Mental Health Awareness Month, so we've got to be aware of these, and it's all throughout April. And um, if anybody wants to help uh, help those people who are dealing with these health. Um, we can help them, and uh, I got a few friends like these uh, who are who are dealing one with one of with one of these mental health or some things like that, and just uh, just make sure they're on the pot. Make sure they have to stay positive, not on the negative side, but they have to stay positive and help battle through these. So um, so um, yeah, and help them make a help them make a better life to continue on to live to live on to the rest of their life. That's what I mean. So you guys know what I mean. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, all right, you guys. So I um, want to say uh, thank you, guys. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, um, the link's right down. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll leave the link on the chat. And uh, find my um, find my channel on YouTube. I just, uh, uh, just yesterday, I just did the Scenes of My Poetry Slam from uh, a week ago on Monday. Um, you guys missed it, and um, looks like next Monday, I might do I might do a, a poetry about the the band uh, about the band from the from South uh, uh, about the band from uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, they are the GFM band. Well, I think you guys are gonna like this one on next Monday, so just hang tight. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much. All right, back to you, Richie. Right on. Thank you, Dan. Always appreciate you jump, jumping in and doing your thing. Um, all right. We're going to keep going. Uh, right on, man. I love Kit here on the Zoom chat. I, I got to say it, man. Dan's as much as part of the El Paso open mics as the mountains are. So uh, <laughs> keep keep uh, keep living large there. Uh, appreciate it. Kit's going to be reading in just a little bit. In fact, um, I just saw that Victoria Molinar joined the chat. Welcome, Victoria. Always great to have you. And uh, she's saying that one of these days she'll join us as well. And and you guys who are performing, tell her it's not that bad, right? Um, all right. Uh, roll, quick roll call, because I, I see people who are signed up who aren't here. Or um, I'm not sure if they're signed in maybe with a different name. It's happened already. So do we have um, Mata Moscas in the house? I might have to send him a link there might be an issue with the link some for some reason um i'll look into that because i know i know rita did had an issue with the link um so i'll send out a link right now to other performers uh thomas 
Dina Hedo. Yeah. Uh, Thomas, you're going to perform in a little bit, I think. In fact, um, you're going to be like three up. Let's let's see who's here. So again, we don't really know the order. I'm going to try and go down and, and I'll, I'll do roll call. But based on how people signed up, I'm going first. So uh, Jacob is not is Jacob here. Jacob Myers, he he was here last time under the with the hand pen. I'm trying to see if if he has I'll send them a message. Okay. I don't think he's here yet. So that said, we're gonna go with Kit, Thomas, then Rita and Agabar. All right, let's go and do that for now. Cool. So Kit, well, what can I say about Kit? He's been here at every single one of these, and uh, it's great to have consistency. Um, I know it's always cool to share your work, and he's the guy who's who's introducing and normalizing poetry covers. It's an important thing. <laughs> so, guys, let's go and make some noise and welcome Kit Wren to our virtual stage. All right. How y'all doing? Just testing my mic, see if it, all right. Okay, I'm gonna do three of mine and then the vaunted cover. Uh, but first we're gonna start with me. Because I've learned my lesson about setting myself up to fail by reading someone else's better work before mine. But this one, this is kind of an origin story. This one's fun. I don't know how the conversation transitioned from bad puns to general theories of art, but it was sudden and regrettable. He insisted to us repeatedly that it's only art if the artist thought it would change the world. Ooh. He had no method. He had no examples. He was so earnestly wrongheaded that I wanted to hug him and tell him everything's going to be okay, little buddy. But these gestures can be misinterpreted. My smaller, fairer, and meaner companion went on the attack recited the theories of Deloitte like a prayer, intense and precise. She leaned in triumphant as his face became gaunt, confronted with all he did not know that he did not know. For my part, I contributed flecks of light at the margin. I mentioned the death of the author, the intention fallacy, and a simple, simplified tale of Kafka and Kafka's dull, slow-witted friend, Max the least reliable literary executor in the world, a man who could not be trusted to start a fire with just paper. He was in the end unfazed, unconvinced, unshaken. He continued to believe in things unseen and soon moved on to the all hour sandwich shop next door. And we, the unacknowledged legislators of the bar room, ordered two more doubles and took turns saying, I don't know, man. I don't know. We didn't. And we were sick with envy of the insolent ones who thought they did, of the man whose innocence we had failed to even dent. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is my next one. This is a uh, this is one of the central conflicts that I have at these open mics because I start out doing one thing and people receive it as another, but I managed to get by somehow. Some time ago in Dallas, I tried my hand at stand up and the MC, helpful and solicitous though, not impressive, told me he thought my material was smart. You will note as I did that smart and funny are not neighbors. They're not even neighborly. Now I find myself performing again, this time poetry. And it's been good for me and good to me. Maybe the most self-helpful thing I've done to practice direct, concise communication and force a vague and broad understanding of my worldview onto a captive audience instead of living like I was already dead and putting my farts in bottles. And now people come to me, strangers who see something in me worth approaching, worth investigating, worth teasing out. And they say to me, kid, 
I like your poems. They're really funny. I will get the balance right. I will find the nine people who have been waiting for this. Okay, not to spoil the magic, but that was just water in an Aurelia's jug. That was uh, really. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, man, I want to see you pull that the black orchid next time <laughs> we, we do this. You know, just don't tell us it's water. Growler. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> That's what okay. poets do. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, man, keep it going. I know you got more. Okay, uh, one more of mine and then the close with the cover. Uh, this one's fairly recent, but it's old enough to not be new shit anymore. Uh, I, Einstein said, I do not believe that God plays dice with the universe. And Niels Bohr responded, don't tell God what to do with his dice. Kit Wren supposes, many years after that conversation ended, that the dice, per se, are immaterial. The dice do not move by themselves or stand for themselves. The dice are a component of a deeper, more intricate process. Perhaps if we were instead to ask, how many sides do God's die? Which edition of the guidebook are we using? Perhaps a pointed inquiry to do with the presence or absence of house rules is in order. I suspect I would gain solace from seeing the world as a softly pulsating field of probabilities controlled by die. There may yet be a place, faint and unsurveyed, where magenta light bends like a birdcage, whose bars protect but don't ensnare, where we can watch love walk by itself, unaccompanied by fear or pain. If the question could stand in for the answer, if to see the chance was the same as to see the product, if I could hold God's dice in a gloved hand and flick them against the wall for my spot check, prepared to compromise with all 20 sides. All right, thank you very much. And this is not me, but it's important to me. Uh, this is uh, Abad by Philip Larkin. I work all day. Get half drunk at night, waking at four to soundless dark I stare. In time, the curtain edges will grow light. Till then, I see what's really always there. Unresting death, a whole day nearer now. Making all thought impossible, but how and where and when I shall myself die. Arid interrogation. Yet the dread of dying and being dead flashes afresh to hold and horrify. The mind blanks at the glare, not in remorse, the good not done, the love not given, time torn off unused, not wretchedly because an only life can take so long to climb clear of its wrong beginnings and may never. But at the total emptiness forever, the sure extinction that we travel to and shall be lost in always, not to be here, not to be anywhere, and soon, nothing more terrible, nothing more true. This is a special way of being afraid, no trick dispels. Religion used to try. The vast, moth-eaten musical brocade created to pretend we never die. And specious stuff that says, oh, no rational being can fear a thing it will not feel. Not seeing that this is what we fear, no sight. No sound, no touch or taste or smell, nothing to think with, nothing to love or link with, the anesthetic from which none come round. And so it stays just on the edge of vision, a small, unfocused blur, a standing chill that slows each impulse down to indecision. Most things may never happen, this one will and realization of it rages out and furnace fear when we are caught without people or drink. Courage is no good. It means not scaring others. Being brave lets no one off the grave. 
Death is no different wine that than withstood. Slowly, light strengthens and the room takes shape. It stands plain as a wardrobe, what we know, have always known. Know that we can't escape, yet can't accept. One side will have to go. Meanwhile, telephones crouch, getting ready to ring in locked up offices, and all the uncaring, intricate rented world begins to rouse. The sky is white as clay with no sun. Work has to be done. Postmen, like doctors, go from house to house. Right on. Yeah, thank you, Kit. Did you uh, have anything to promote or share? Uh, I get, I'm at, I, I had a hustle doing sports writing, but there's no more sports forever now. Um, uh, I'm, I'm on Instagram at Kit Ren Away. I'll put that in the chat real quick. Um, I have a goofy Facebook page called the Not Evil Sun Cult, which is just some fun, all caps surrealism and optimism. Uh, that's all I can think of at the moment. Oh, I was in Chismosa Press and Barrio Panther, the two things, the two local things that we've been promoting a lot. I was in both of those. So look for those and find those. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right on. Appreciate that. So if you guys are joining us, uh, I saw, let's see, I'm looking at the YouTube chat. Um, again, thanks, Victoria, for tuning in. I always love having you. Um, and also welcome Alon Alondra Espinosa. Thanks for joining us in the chat. I know she was showing a lot of love to D, who I'm just realizing is Denise in the chat. So I, earlier I was like, Denise, this is D, you know, and, and so on. But uh, you're the same person. <laughs> so uh, if you guys are here watching live, uh, drop drop your info in the chat. Let us know that you're listening. It always It's always nice to know, really. Um, and while we're promoting local stuff, I do want to give a shout out to my to my friend, Gris Munoz. She has her book out, Quite Like You, Girl. And she's been doing readings and a, and a press. This is a really nice book, as afforded by the well-known author, Luis Alberto Urea. And it features artwork from Los Dos, awesome art collective um, here in the Portland. Oh, hell yeah. She's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's from Flower Song Books. This is really nice. I encourage you guys to check it out. I mean, especially if you grew up here in the borderland or if you want to know more about like just the area, it's, it's, it's awesome. And uh, I know that's a book 12 years in the making. So it's nice to be able to, to hold it and read it. Uh, all right. Thank you guys so much um, just for, for joining us. So I to let you guys know the next couple of performers, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, have two comedians get back into some music so it's going to be two comedians and then two poets i mean sorry two musicians um let's go ahead and uh welcome we have sharita here with us yeah hey yo all right <laughs> let's make some noise and welcome rita to the chat let's make some noise welcome Woo! how you guys tonight thank you for having me i usually watch like incognito i'm like on your youtube channel watching and like hiding and stuff like that so i figured i was like you know what comedy can't be that bad right now on quarantine so why don't i just come out here and do a couple jokes for you but i promise you richie i'm not gonna make you blush okay I, it'll be clean comedy tonight <laughs> if that's cool because <laughs> usually my comedy is a little bit raunchy but i'm at home and guess who i'm at home with the kiddos it's not fun I've been trying to hide in my attic since the quarantine has started. I'm the best chef to me. But guess what? Since we're all home, guess what we're all eating? Whatever I put on your plate. And this little girl, I have a 10 year old. She goes, mom, why are you cooking when everybody's ordering food? I'm like, cause it's cheap. She's like, uh, you're missing the important part of the word mom. I was like, what's that? She's like, money on something i was like what she goes yeah moms like aren't you made of money somebody take her i can't fit in my attic okay she's like yeah mom everybody's ordering i said how do you know about ordering she's like uh because it's the 20th century and everybody's on uber favor lyft doordash i'm like she's listening to all these foods and i'm like uh can you use your money to go and buy all this no, she's not. 
So I'm like running, like I keep checking over my shoulder because that's how kids sneak up on you. Like you're talking crap about them and then all of a sudden you turn around, they're right there. So if I turn around and jump, that's because the minion came and got me. I know it's my fault for having kids. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't plan that part. I just like the part that you you make the kids. I, I yeah. So in high school, when they showed the sex ed video, they should have showed the bank account of how there's nothing in your bank account when you have kids, right? So my oldest, he's 16. He hits me up with the whole, mom, do we get our stimulus check? What's this hour? He was like, well, you get a stimulus check and every kid is $500. I was like, oh yeah, remember all those PlayStation video games you buy? You kind of old, bro. He was like, are you serious? I showed him, I had, I had, oh, thank you for Mother's Day, Dan. I said, no, I have receipts. I keep receipts of everything that I buy. That way when kids come at me talk about, mom, I want PlayStation, I want this game, I want the new pair of shoes. It's quarantine, son. You don't need shoes. Get them chonklas that you threw in the back of the closet and wear those. Yeah, kids, man. Who wants those? But I'm happy to announce that, yeah, my sanity barely here. It's here. I have this new thing that I'm doing. It's called gardening. Um, the grass is kind of there. It's brown, it's muddy, but it's there. So by the end of this quarantine, my lawn is going to be on home and garden television. I promise you. It might not win for best garden, but it's going to be on there. I promise you. I'm pruning because I can't take it anymore. I really, I really try. So I try like working out at home. Um, as you can see, <laughs> no, I'm barely like eating snacks, a lots of snacks. Is anybody else eating snacks? It's the best thing ever. Like, this is like being pregnant all over again, minus like the pain of having the kid. I, I'm eating Doritos, I'm eating donuts, I'm just eating pies. Yeah, I'm eating all of that because that's what I made. Because apparently somebody bought all the ramen out of the stores. Who knew? Ramen is like the hot commodity next to toilet paper in supermarkets. I don't like you if you bought all the ramen. You're hurting me drastically. So yeah, I'm about to go. Thanks for listening. And I really appreciate Mitchie and you guys. That's my comedy for now. Love you all. Yeah, <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you. You can find What's me up? on Instagram. Well, yes, I'm all, all of that. It's Sharita. So S-H-A-R-I-T-A -A. on Instagram. It's S-H-A-R-1-T-A. -A. I try to keep it simple. <laughs> thank it. you. I love it. Much, much needed. Thank you. You know, uh, humor is always so important. And uh, yeah, we you're actually officially our first comedian that we've had on this show. So it's good. Good to have like, <laughs> show up. That's right. History. I feel like it's hard to yes. do comedy like through through chat through through Zoom. But you know, we're all we're all making do. So thank you, Sharita. Thank okay. you, Richie. Thank you, guys. And I, I love it. D D uh, really loved your set. She says, "I think we have the same kids." <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, we can get a play date. <laughs> a play date. There you go. Make it happen. We got the chat going on. So again, shout out to YouTuber, YouTube people. Let us know you're you're listening. Um, it's great for that. Sorry, I got distracted here. I'm trying to send a link out to someone. Um. Agabar, Agabar, are you here with us? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. So, so you're a comedian. Yes. All right, man. Welcome. Glad to have you. Let's go ahead and welcome you to the stage. Okay, that's good. I'm excited about being here today. I thought I was going to get some uh, some music or something like that, but. Anyway, uh, I'd like to say hello to everyone, all every all the musicians, everyone that performed. You guys did a great job. Um, man, I'm excited about here. I can come through the screen and slap somebody upside the head. <laughs> oh boy. But anyway, uh, I just want to get into these one-liners. You know, all my one-liners are not going to hit. Some, some I'm gonna keep. Some I'm gonna throw it away. Throw away. But who gives a care? This is a uh, online open mic. But uh. I want to tell you a little bit about myself and my family. Um, I am an out-of-the-box comic because 
being an in the box comic, it's kind of hard for me to get my rocks off. And I just want to warn everybody, I'm a little bit uh, messy, a little bit muddy. So is, is that all right? This is like the rated R version of the night. <laughs> I'm sure we all drink it. So drink a little more. Let me just get down in your arteries and just mess you all up. But I do want to say, if you like my one liners, like my two liners and sniff that shit up, it'll leave you with a Coke and a smile. But anyway, uh, let's talk about my dad. My dad is a workaholic. Yes, the nigga is. Every time he go to work, he's always drunk. My dad said that Budweiser doesn't make you any wiser. Bud does. My dad said that the coronavirus could have been dealt with a long time ago. If the dude that was drinking too many Coronas would have just wore a condom. Oh boy, Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever the nigga laid his hat was his home. So the nigga was homeless. <laughs> My dad did work good with his hands. Yes, he was. He was a professional pan pandler. <laughs> But my dad was a good storyteller. He would tell me stories how he would stand in the lake, water up to his waist, and jack off while fishing. <laughs> my dad never pays for his internet bill. Bill. He had an awesome connection, stealing his neighbor's Wi-Fi. <laughs> See, all my one-liners are not going to hit, but those that's, that hit, just throw up your finger and I'll keep it, <laughs> so bear with me. Uh, my dad tried to go surfing, but he drowned in the web because he didn't pay his internet bill. Let me tell you a little bit about my mother. My mother was a social worker. Yes, she was. She worked the streets at night. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, when wearing my mask, I'm always asking myself, damn, who breath stink? <laughs> I asked the meth head, why the shitty smell? He said, because he smokes meth. <laughs> oh boy, bear with me, I'm almost done. Now these one-liners are gonna be a little bit real nasty, but we're all adults here. My girl says she always wanna fuck a, a jet pilot. I was like, really? So a nigga put on an O2 oxygen mask? and fuck the dog shit out of her ass. I told you I'm gonna be a little bit muddy, but you know. <laughs> if God, whatever God you serve, Christianity, Buddha, did not intend for us to eat ass, then why do the motherfuckers sit between two buns? <laughs> oh boy, y'all, I got some smart roaches, I do. One time I shut off the light and one of the roaches said, damn, turn the light back on. <laughs> These are all little short kinky jokes, but bear with me, I'm almost done. I don't understand how a blowfish can blow coke under the water. If Dora, that little bitch that y'all kids be watching on TV, if she will stop sniffing coke, she'll get that monkey off her back. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up, bear with me. I got some more. I got some more. I don't like being in elevators because a nigga don't like being boxed in. I filed a complaint against Instagram because those motherfuckers did not send me a gram of Coke in an instant. Credit karma is running my credit. 
And they sent me an email and said, karma has reached my ass. <laughs> oh, how much time I got, Rich? I got more. One minute. Ooh, that's a lot of bit. Of, that's a lot of time. I thought about being a cliffhanger. A nigga like sports too. But black folks don't climb mounds. <laughs> oh boy. I would go swimming in the ocean, but a nigga will get seasick. <laughs> I got kicked off the football team because I was vaping in the huddle. <laughs> oh boy, just bear with me. Uh, I tried to run track, but it didn't work because a nigga got slave knees. <laughs> oh boy. I like my black women with long nails, but I asked one question. How do they keep their ass clean? I don't like peeping toms because the motherfuckers are too nosy. I'm Agabar the comic and I'm out. That's it, Rich. That's all I got. Yo, thank you, man. And you're joining us from Austin. How'd, how'd you hear about, about, about this uh, event from us? Oh yeah, I heard I heard about uh, you guys through uh, Sharita right here. I saw it on her her page, and I was like, "Well, what the hell?" Cool, right on, man. Looks like you have a really cool poster right behind you too, like with your name on it. Do you have a, a page to promote? Yeah, right now I just at Comic Conversation Facebook. We just do a, a podcast, man. My boy Thomas Siska. We've been doing a this podcast for about for a long time for about seven or eight months now going strong here in Austin, Texas. So we're just out of the box comics. We're, um, we're not clicked up. We just two, we were two local comics that came together and we was like, Hey, let's start something. Let's do something on our own. So we just created this podcast and what we do, we have other local comics come over. We have uh, we fix some dinner and we just talk about different things. Like right now what's hot is like the COVID-19 uh, we talk about, you know, anything that comes to the sun. We don't hold back no punches. Uh, sometimes we have great talk shows where everybody, you know, in Austin, we want to kick down my door and, and <laughs> shoot me alive. <laughs> but uh, I would love to come back next week. Uh, I don't know how you guys deal with uh, jokes, but a lot of my jokes are very muddy, but I can clean them up, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it's fine. I, I think. Bring the mud. Uh, yeah, bring it. You know, uh, I just just perform what you want. I think that's what we're gonna do with this. Thank you. Yeah, because uh, you know my style of comedy is very, very like Richard Pryor, and and here in Austin, I get a lot of pushback, but it's okay. I can only do I can only do me. You know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Yeah, we'll be back next Monday for sure. I'll, Thank you uh, for having me. Yeah, man, appreciate that. And and it seems like all the other performers on the chat are like racist finds. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to down. no oh. phobias. Is that Kit? Kit, you became the Matrix. We didn't hear that too well. Yeah. What, what oh, was that? Sorry about that. Uh, Racy's fine, just no. Racy is fine, just no phobias. No, none of those. Oh, okay, no phobia jokes. Yeah, I hear you. Right on, man. Right on. Cool. Well, thank you for joining us. We're going to go ahead and. Um, uh, go ahead and switch it up. We have uh, some musicians coming up next, and uh, yeah, Victoria on the chat, very hilarious. Uh, she reacted to the fate, uh, the mask one. She says the mask breast struggle is real, and uh, and also she agrees. You do you, boo. Thanks for the the interactive element there, Victoria. Um, Thomas, so check it out. I just gotta clarify. So Thomas, someone signed up is signed up as Thomas. But I don't know if it's the Thomas who's in the chat. I, I just got to make sure. So, Thomas, were you going to perform some music for us or, or a poem or something? Um, Thomas, me? Yeah. Thomas, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I didn't really plan on it. Uh, Robert just kind of brought me in to check it out, but I'm going to do it up. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, right on, man. So, do your thing. Let's um, go there. All right, cool. Uh, everyone, good job, by the way, on your stuff. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Um, I wrote you. This, I wrote this one for uh, Mod. I really like, uh, I love running, and that story just kind of hit me a little bit harder. So uh, I wrote this little piece for him. 
Uh, here he goes. My dude, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to worry and go through neighborhoods, scared and in a hurry. The only bur burglar was them, and they stole from you. America, we have a lot of work to do. I ran extra fast for you today because they reported you were hauling ass. My dude, I'm sorry. No family should have to worry when their child goes for a jog because of the color of their skin, a target to be shot or flogged. America, eyes on you. Right on, man. Thank you for that. That's um, yeah. That that's been some heavy stuff that's been going on. Um, I didn't know. I didn't know you wrote, man. I, I know you're a badass drummer and musician, but uh, that was that's cool. Thank you. Appreciate do, it. Thank you. Do you have uh, anything else or anything you'd like to promote? Um, no. I I I didn't expect to do any anything. Uh, uh, I would really like to come back another time again to do it I, I really enjoyed it and everyone who shared thank you so much as well um but no just just be kind to each other out there you know that's my cousin man oh yeah tina heddles in the house i love that well, yeah thank you all yes you, it's you, a family you, affair all right how many percussionists do you have in the family because aren't you you also have mickey right Oh yeah, uh, well, Mickey's uh, Roberts. Mickey's my niece. She's yeah, yeah. she's your niece. There's yeah. so many of us, we can't really keep up, man. Honestly, <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, she was telling me she she checked in the other day and, and caught some of it. So, it's way better drummer than me, by the way. <laughs> man, <laughs> Listen, yeah, no, no, you guys are all a pretty awesome, cool family. Um, thanks, for, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Um, all right. So the reason why I was a little confused because on, on the sign up sheet. There is actually, uh, uh, you're Tomas, but there was actually a Thomas who signed up, Thomas with a TH from LA, but I don't know, I don't think they made it. So I, I see, I see some people in the chat here that, um, I can't really identify. Is, is Thomas from LA here? He signed up to perform some music. Let's see, maybe, no? Well, thank you for joining us, Tomas. You, you took his place today. And, thank uh, you. Yeah, thank you for to... cool man glad to have you for sure and um uh, do you want to promote any of your projects uh well my instagram is uh tommy chill figure and if you want to check out some of the music that i do or work on um the links are right there as well so tommy chill figure right on, man. Look up my name thank you dude appreciate thank it thank you all right so um let me go back uh oh we have jeremy silva in the house are you still with us jeremy yes sir awesome so i think you initially signed up to hip-hop and i think your your hip-hop name is mata moscas but I, I guess when you do music just like acoustic are you jeremy yeah okay cool man well welcome back he's gonna play some songs for us let's go and welcome jeremy to the stage all right I'm sorry, there's, there's not much I could do about that light right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I just, I go then? Yeah, go for it, man. Do your thing. All right, cool. All right, the song is called uh, Parking Lot. Well, I sit outside in the parking lot. I've been running away from everything that reminds me of home. Well, I got me a brand new lease. Well, what the hell is that supposed to be? Who are you to tell me to be happy? Oh, I'll wake up in the morning and I don't know what to think. Wake up in the morning and I drink myself to sleep. I wake up in the morning and I don't know what to think. Wake up in the morning and I drink myself to sleep. I don't know what I'm moving towards. All I know is there's a wave here. 
Away from all these sickening thoughts, I need to get the fuck away from here. I've been running since I was 15, and my feet are really starting to hurt. I wanna feel comfortable in my own shirt. Oh, I wake up in the morning and I strap shoes on my feet. Wake up in the morning, drink my coffee black, and then I hit the street. I wake up in the morning and I don't know what to do. Wake up in the morning, say a prayer and thank God for everything. Right on, man. Nice. Do you guys need a need another or what? Do it. Bet. Um. So this is one of the one of the older songs that I've that I wrote with uh with my friend and in, in our band. It's called No Good, and um, it's called Love and Hate Relationship, and it's about it's about drug addiction. So uh, hey, here's this song, but. Re redone. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, man, Jeremy Silva. Yo, promote your projects really quick to to the like fine people watching us. Um, you could find that music on on SoundCloud. Just search up "No Good," and um, yeah, it's it's gonna be under a project. It's called um, it's a long title. It's um, a couple songs before the album is ready. That's what the that's what the little project is called. <laughs> And then you could also find us on Instagram at no good dirties. 
And yeah, that's about it. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. Jeremy Silva, everyone. Check that stuff out. I, I really like it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get more musicians here next time. And always I want poets, you know, share me your stuff. So I'm gonna do a quick roll call and see if maybe I missed anyone. Uh Darwood. Do we have a Darwood in the house? Maybe I hear I hear a, a call. No, no, no Darwood. He was gonna share some poetry. He's also calling from all the way in the UK, so I gotta find find that kind of global way to, to link up. So maybe he just didn't make it this time. Uh let's see. What about no Thomas from LA? What about anybody else in the chat? Isn't is there anybody here? Uh now's a time where we might have a little bit extra time. Is there anyone here in the chat in the Zoom chat that would like to perform? I see a couple people here signed in. Give you guys about 15, 20 seconds. I, Maya is Maya in the chat. Where's Maya? <laughs> Robert is just like getting everyone on. He's like, "All right, Thomas, go do it, do your thing." That's how she was sitting next to Thelma, but she left. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, sometimes the open mics work best with peer pressure for sure. Um, anybody else? I see a couple other names that that uh, are on here but haven't performed. Would you guys be interested in, in sharing a little something, a poem, song, freestyle, rap, a dance, your best dance move, maybe? Show us your best dance moves. Need a, need a little bit of room for that. All right. No, nobody's really volunteering here. So I guess in that case, uh, I'll end with a poem. Um, it's a really old poem. So bef right before this, I started this today. Um, I was listening to another live stream, another open mic live stream from the New Yorican Poets Cafe. If you guys are familiar, that's like a, a mecca for for performance poetry, spoken word poetry. Um, it's been around for a little while, but they they're over there and uh, they do great work over there in New York. Um, it's a lot of people try and make it out there and they're doing online open mics as well. And uh, I think on Mondays, they do a, a theme. So their theme today was youth. So it made me kind of go back to old poems, not just because I was younger. You know, we all missed that youth, right, of, of years ago. But uh, I found this this poem. It's, it's a little clunky, but it was a fun spoken word piece to do. And it was actually a, a group poem in poetry, in, you know, in poetry slams. Uh, you know, there's the individual competition, but there's also such a such thing as a team slam. So you could perform and write, or you could write a poem and perform it with a partner or and sometimes in with multiple people. And it's it's actually kind of cool. So if you guys aren't familiar with that genre or that style, I encourage you guys to check it out. There's a lot online and I'm sure you can find it through some of the big sites. This is a <laughs> this is a, a team poem I wrote with with an ex-girlfriend. She wasn't an ex-girlfriend when we, were, when we wrote it. That would have been an interesting poem. But at the time, we were dating, and uh, I think we were just thinking about writing a letter to the youth. Like, what kind of message would we want to send? So this is a piece we call Two Young Leaders. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit, edit in my head as I read. It's going to be a little clunky, but most I'll probably keep most of my lines and just maybe edit some of her, hers out just because... I don't know. This is hard to read like this. Now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. We're doing this live. It's called Two Young Leaders. <clears throat> okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have, accidentally mute myself like that one time. All right. To young leaders, let your mind be a sponge to soak up endless stories and songs because the future belongs to those who are curious and creative. So be curious and creative but most of all listen step one be you so much so that the world cannot contain your uniqueness unless it doubles no triples in size shake mountains with your melody enjoy every song of yourself from crescendo to crescendo so much so that no that others will have no choice but to get you stuck in their heads so much so that if you were in front of Picasso, he would tell you, I can't paint you. You're so weird. 
Or better yet, I painted you perfectly because you're so weird. See, don't be afraid to be alone. So when the, when the time comes, and it will come, you will embrace your own thoughts. You will spend your last dollar on an empty notebook. You will embrace the mistakes, the missed aches of your most confusing years. You'll take it all, gather it together, and crumple it up into a ball of confusion. Then you will bathe it in the fires of Mount Doom and wear it as your armor. Step two, be bold. Walk this world with lightning, with footsteps like lightning bolts, like exclamation marks. Let your march for justice be booming thunder for those who are voiceless and cannot fight back. Isang Balsak. When one falls, we all do. When one rises, we all do. You come for one, you come for all. Be bold in an army of one, unapologetic. Ask big questions so you may get big answers. Like mi abuelo, who wrote love songs about the border and worked hard every day of his life for the love of his family, who showed me to experience the beauty of a moment and experience the true meaning of lifelong friendships. To go out, get dirty, stay up late, jump fences, sneak into buildings, create, meditate, set people on fire figuratively. So be bold and take risks, even if they lead to tears, because those are the ones that will drown into your bones and provide the nutrients to help you grow into the person who you are and will be. Because here comes step three, be in love. Look that person in the morning mirror and tell them, hey, you look good today. Take the time to listen to the heartbeat of your lover. Forget that time exists, especially when you're deep in each other's bodies and the wind is a howling giant along the border. Take that one angry, bitter person and disarm them with compassion. Don't waste your time on nonsensical arguments that bring each other down because remember, the best way to stop bridges from burning is to let it all become water underneath. Take your love and compassion. Wear it on your sleeve and make it your anthem. Be in love with nature, with stories, with knowledge, with home, with your mind, with your body, with the world. To young leaders, be you, be bold, be in love. And most of all, here's the microphone. Come and take it. All right, that's it. That's the poem. I haven't read that one in a while. It was interesting to editorialize it <laughs> on the spot, but uh, it's interesting. I, I enjoyed performing that one to like middle school and high school kids uh, when I go and visit and do poetry talks. I'll probably, I'll probably re-edit re that one and revisit it. But guys, I want to thank you guys uh, for tuning in today, this Monday. We're going to do this next Monday. I'll try and get the sign-up sheet uh, midweek. Um, if you guys want to get the, you know, ahead and signing up, just follow us on our social media. Um, if you left your email with us, uh, I pretty much I'm, I have a, a newsletter. I'll send that out so you guys can get like the first sign up. Um, if you guys are on YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll be able to watch this uh, for a while. The past episodes are already there. So if you guys want to see yourselves, go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll see you guys next week uh, for the Barbed Wire Open Mic Series. Stay at home, open mic. My name is Rich, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Later, YouTube. Thank Later. you, Richie. We'll see you next Monday. Yeah, see you next Thanks, Monday. Thanks, man. That was cool. Bye, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate I'll that. I'll see you next Monday. Yeah, awesome. You guys enjoy YouTube. We love you. Uh, follow us. I'm going to go ahead and stop the live stream if I can figure out how to do that. Um, <laughs> Mine's 2020. <laughs> it's not hindsight Time for the zoom after party yeah i gotta start advertising that actually so yo we have a <laughs> zoom after party if you guys want to join us uh all right hold on i'm gonna stop the live stream peace